if this was a US company, if this was Amazon, and we saw this much of a beat across all of the metrics that we saw, you, you wouldn't be getting only 2.5% in the trade. So, so what's holding it back? And this is the, the real question, because this, this is what the people watching care about. <laughs> Well, I guess that the big chunk of that concern was still coming from the uncertainty towards the overall China macro, right? We are uh, adamantly seeing the macro still being a bit uh, kind of fluctuating month over month. Uh, the July macro data is still seeing some sequential uh, kind of deceleration, uh, but at the same time, BABA is catching up the growth against the industry. So again, you know, coming back to the point of the marginal improvement, as long as BABA continues to deliver superior growth versus the peers, as long as they are exceeding their expectations quarter over quarter, I think that offers you a good foundation for the investors to rebuild that level of confidence into the stock. But in the context of that macro picture where the biggest weakness is consumer spending and the consumer desire to spend, can we really say that they've turned the corner until that issue is resolved? Well, I think, admittedly, right, the macro is, has its, its own issues, right? So, but when we're looking at the monthly trend, uh, there are a few boxes we need to tick. Number one is consumers gradually rebuilding the confidence and starting back on the consumption? Yes. Right? Is Baba catching up the growth against the industry? Yes. Are people gradually kind of going back to the job market, start looking for you know, positions, and are they still going back to the offline markets and consume for traveling, for other services? Yes. Once you have all the boxes starting to tick, you know, Baba as the major retail play uh, in China will also be benefiting from that gradual recovery of overall consumption. And this is not to mention that Baba is now not only a e-commerce pure play, but it's actually rolling out a lot of the you know, uh, business segments that tapping into a very well diversified uh, business segments as well. Uh, so we do anticipate the rest of the, the units, aside from just e-commerce, will also be able to provide that incremental growth legs uh, into the next few quarters.